Look at that guy dropping in. That's pretty sweet. Bright picture in the morning. Early in the morning. First day of the fish, first fish of the morning. I can't even speak it so early. Roughly around 4.45. We got a good one, guys. Good one. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's a slab, guys. That is a good one. Check them out down there. They are active. Running around right there on that nice little pile. Good morning. Let's get this done. Fish are going to the boat. Really had to play him though. Definitely a, ficky, a fickle bite when you have to play it that much. Speeding it up, using the stair step approach. We talked about that approach um, a lot where you're always going up. You're never going back down, but you're thrusting different speeds, playing the fish, really reacting to how the fish is, is, is acting. So you're trying to match their intensity is really the key. And when you have to do a lot of that, you realize the bite is kind of fickle. Now we're at 77 degrees right now. So water temperature is definitely coming down in a, in a, where we need it to come, but we are fishing with jigs only. I don't know, maybe vertical fishing is the way to go. I just whipped out this new swamp hair jig, guys. The swamp hair jig is on has been awesome lately right there it's available on the website check it out slabs in the boat with that guy probably one of my all-time favorite hair jigs there's only a handful of them but the swamp has always been one that stands out and i think it's just the perfect mix of white and black and it's got that nice little yellow that i think gives it a natural color in, in the, under the surface called the swamp it's available in about uh you can buy it actually as an individual you can just try one for two dollars and fifty cents or you can buy it in a pack of three or a pack of five whatever we got another one look at this wow wow that hammer i just love this rod i can't i can't say enough this is a good fish too oh this is a stud stud fish guys <laughs> thick back we call this a thick back this is what we call a thick back that's a black crappie probably roughly around almost 14 inches uh, just a stud of a fish and um, let me show you what we're fishing with now this is the swamp this is what I'm talking about um, probably one of my all-time favorite hair jigs here um, anywhere just seems like it gives off a natural look under the surface absolutely love it it's a 130 second ounce available on the website check it out i'm using the sniping braid this is the comet i always put a number seven split shot and if you guys don't know anything about the hammer the hammer 10 footer is a professional grade 10 footer there's a lot of 10 footers out there i know this is a professional grade one the diameter at the base is a lot thicker the walls of the rod are a little bit thicker gives a really stiffer uh, but super sensitive the ability to cast it do everything you'd ever want I highly recommend you put a hammer in your hand I guarantee you you will absolutely love it especially with that 200 series reel it just balances it out absolutely perfect so this is fun early in the morning we've got storms all around us they're gonna be here uh, by nine o'clock so we basically get an hour and a half of fishing before they get here at least that's what the forecast for I me mean, who knows it's very ominous everywhere around here right now <laughs> vertical jigging sniping braid hammer tin i'm not sure it gets any better i'm just not sure it gets any better I say that because that fish just absolutely barely touched that jig and I could feel it and oh boy I could feel it and uh, I mean I don't I'm not sure it, it, if I mean it barely touched it and you could feel it and it just felt it's just great to be able to set the hook on something that's just so light and bite which makes you wonder if we could change colors does it will affect the bite. Look at those guys just swimming all around that sucker. 
Guys, sometimes you have to change up your tactics in a big, oh my gosh, in a big way. And today we have changed it up and we are going vertical with a hair jig. Big change up from what we've been doing and we are just reacting to how the fish are reacting to us. We're changing it up. We're mid, you know, early morning. You can see that they're just down here, but you have to just sit it there nice and still and slabs coming out, guys. Using the Swamp three pound fishing, check it out. Hair jig, boom. That is a, look at those guys right there. Those guys, all this fish, right? Mmm. <laughs> it started raining, guys. Man. Another slab in the boat, though. Guys, rain or shine. Fish going in the boat. We've got a storm that is just rolling in, and we've got sprinkles going crazy. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can check that out or not, but either way. I'm telling you right now, right before a rainstorm, barometric pressure changes, those type of things can affect the bite. And we are putting a ton of fish in the boat right now. So don't let the rain scare you away. Lightning, yes, let that scare you away. But uh, if it's not lightning, get out of here right before it starts the rain. It's great fishing. Slabs going in the boat for sure. All right, guys, we're back. It started to rain <laughs> pretty bad. Uh, but without a doubt, uh, before the rain, it was just great fish here i'll show you some of the great fish we got here today all right there we go this guy right here biggest fish of the day probably around a 14. all great fish right there guys and as you see the rain has really settled in <laughs> check it out that was a short trip guys we were out there less than an hour six fish probably missed a couple more but we were trying different things always adjusting to what the fish are wanting First, especially during this transition period from summer to fall. We've got water temperatures now sitting around 80, and I'm telling you, it's just a, it's kind of a confusing time for them. 